So, I uh, went to Ollie's and I got another pack of comic books, random ones. And it's a different brand than what I normally get. So, if you watch my videos, you know I normally get uh, uh, completely different things. So, this one is from Supreme Marketing from Fall River, Massachusetts. And I can tell on the front there's a Terminator comic. And some of these look pretty old, so I'm pretty excited. It says a $35 retail value. So, I'm going to open this up and see what surprises await and I hope you enjoy this so I'm pulling the comics out I'm going to start with the top one and it is a Terminator comic first Dark Horse issue and what's interesting about this first of all let me look at the year on this um 1990. This is before um, Terminator 2 came out. So what's interesting is if you watch the original Terminator movie, you'll re you might remember that the Terminators looked different. They all they didn't all look like Arnold. We saw other Terminators with different faces. So it wasn't until Terminator 2 that they all looked like Arnold. And the idea was that they could blend in. I mean, obviously, if they all look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, you could tell which ones were the Terminators. Uh, so this should be interesting. This here's an ad for Dark Man on the back. I think Liam Neeson. Yeah, Liam Neeson was in it. Coming soon. Terminator Tempest. And um, this is like the original Terminator movie is what this is coming from. The soldiers in the future. Fighting against the machines, Skynet and everything. And this is just kind of interesting because this is something we don't normally see when we think of Terminator stuff. And um, we see where the Terminators are made. And they have female Terminators. Uh, and that's what's that's what the original scary idea was: is that they could look like anybody. And I think then we get to the, uh, the present day. So this is a completely different uh, version of the Terminator than what we've seen. Here's Alien, Aliens, and Give Me Liberty by Frank Miller. Luther Arkwright. Interesting. This is definitely one I hold on to. This is the Hardcore by Valiant. And there's an ad on the back for Terminator 2. In coincidence, I guess. I guess this is around from 1994 or so. Um, and, yep, 1994. Hardcore. It's 
still kind of miss this old newsprint kind of paper that comics used to be printed on. So this pack of comics is a lot more older comics than the other packs I usually get, which is pretty cool. Um, the next one is Spider-Girl, and that's kind of cool because tonight I'm going to watch uh, Into the Spider-Verse. Um, on the back there's a Game Boy ad, so for Daredevil with Ben Affleck. So this has got to be 2003. Here's an ad for Lucky Charms. Um, Spider Girl. Rising Storm. Oreo Cookie Bars. Do they still make these? Yeah, so my plan tonight is I'm going to order a pizza. Me and Mary are going to eat pizza and watch. Into the Spider Verse and drink some Coca Cola and have a fun night. During this time, you gotta do what you gotta do to stay happy. And sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, it's recommended that you get yourself a pizza and get a bag of popcorn and maybe have a double feature. You know, on a weekend, start at 4 30, get two movies, pizza, popcorn, and Coke, and, and just let yourself get absorbed in the stories that's um, that's our plan tonight that's Green Goblin I guess Norman Osborn what's this this is Wild Arms 3 it looks like a comic book store before the Funko Pop and look what you could buy in the comic book stores back then cups <laughs> t-shirts keychains bandanas crocs they didn't ha now it's just nothing but Funko Pops and you go in oh look at that the whole fellowship Lord of the Rings action figures they made some impressive action figures um when Lord of the Rings came out and oh I, that look at that gift bag Gandalf, you got the Hobbits, you got Legolas, Boromir, and you got Strider. And they did make some great action figures. A Ring Wraith, Arwen and Frodo, and a Cave Troll. I'm a, I always liked the Lord of the Rings action figure line. Green Goblin. We preview the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. And we got Cap and. That's kind of nightmarish. Frosted Flakes. Okay. What's next? Uh, Ultimate X-Men. Very shiny. Issue 58, a hard lesson. There's a picture of Professor X on the cover. This looks a little bit more recent. Uh, berry Bone Cereal by Kellogg's. Tastes like berries. Um, 
here's a Mario Party. This is 2000, 2005. A hard lesson. Artwork is really good in this. It's really good. A lecture on DVD. Now she advertises for Capital One. Well, I have to admit, the artwork in this is really good. Animation domination. I guess King of the Hill was still on back then. PlayStation 2. Triple X State of the Union. That's something with Ice Cube. And I remember on that DVD, um, they had a little short movie called The Death of Xander Cage. And it showed, uh, it had a Din Vin Diesel stunt double play him. And then they had some of like his dialogue added in and it showed him get killed. But then, of course, Vin Diesel came back for the next Triple X movie. Amazing. I remember that. They, they, they've been tinkering with M&M candy bars for so long. Uh, God of War. Kind of a fun game. I haven't played the latest one. I'd like to. Blade. Motor City Comic Con. Media guests. Catherine Buck, Robert Beltran, David Carradine, Joyce DeWitt from Three's Company, uh, Elvira... Um, Ernie Hudson from Ghostbusters, Tom Savini, Dwight Schultz, Brent Spinner, Spiner, uh, Data from Star Trek. Matrix Online. Do you remember the, the plug-and-play games? They were pretty popular until people realized that they weren't all that. Fantastic Four figures. Oh, this is cool. This is the uh, the other side of the Scooby-Doo. Bone, berry bones cereal. What's our next comic? This is Guy Gardner Warrior Zero Hour by DC. This one looks like another oldie. Playoff. Anything else? Just collecting. That's the uh, collector card. This is from 1994. On the old newsprint. Got an ad for jeans. Target. And um, Supergirl. Batgirl. Swept into a Jurassic Park world. Damon Wayne's Blink Man. Coming to save your butt. Bart Simpson. That looks a lot like the Incredible Hulk. Found himself in a DC comic, doesn't it?
Super Bowl just got blasted here. Oh, that long-haired Superman looks so bad in the 90s. Was that a bad decade? <laughs> it was a bad decade. We had Superman with basically a mullet. Oh, I'm glad that didn't last long. Hmm. Hawkman. And there's two blank pages here. Is that a misprint? Or get out of it? Oh, it's, see, it's like a, a, a nuke and it cleared, it blew up everything. And then we get a Stridex ad. That's kind of clever. I guess that was intentional. Um, the next comic is by Marvel. It's called The Craptacular B-Sides. And... There's an ad for Clyde Barker Prince St. Sinner on the back. Brought to you by Domino's, Applebee's, and Smirnoff Ice. That is a fairly racy ad, actually. Um... On sci-fi. Let the mooching begin. Starburst. When was this printed? The B-sides. Jug Handle. Fate Ball. Mize. And Charlie Huckle. Um, I don't remember this at all. The artwork is not so good. There's Doc Ock. Um, die another day ad. So we have a general idea of when this was. And Pierce Brosnan was still 007. Art, I'm not a fan of the art in this at all. Echo. Blade 2. A video game for Activision. I have the Beholder. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of the artwork in this at all. It's just not my style. Tobacco is wacko if you're a teen. Not if you're anybody, really. And we got the Fantastic Four there. Okay. Next is Stormwatch. Bleed, part two of three. This looks a little bit more recent. Slick, it's Image Comics. Um, this is 1998 though, so it's not that recent. <laughs> Just really in good shape. This 22 years old. Spawn. R-rated director's cut with an interview with Todd McFarlane.
Enter the Dragon. Rediscover the Dragon. Own it on video. <laughs> and they mean VHS. <laughs> Virus. It is aware. That's the one with Jamie Lee Curtis. Not the, not the Japanese movie that was really scary. This is kind of a dumb movie, if I remember right. Um, yeah, pretty graphic. From 1998 too that was pretty graphic the artwork's pretty good in this dark child Okay, next comic is The Way of the Warrior Justice League. Uh, on, the on the back, there's an ad for Batman Forever, so this is um, in the 90s. Printed on the old newsprint. There's a Judge Dredd, of the video game. Martian Manhunter, um, Fleer Ultra Casper trading cards for the movie with Christina Ricci, Dungeons and Dragons, Ugh, the long-haired Superman. So awful. I'm surprised they didn't give him like an earring too. That that's the only thing that was missing. Wonder Woman, Fall of an Amazon. Just as log. And here is Batman Forever, Metal Forever. Late 1995. I don't, is this a trading card? And there's an ad for Batman Forever. Next is Out of the Vortex. By Dark Horse. And this is from 1993. Star Wars Tales of the Jedi. Is this supposed to be Bill Clinton? I think it is. Do you remember a movie called Contact and it had Jodie Foster and it came out in the 90s? Well, they had uh, inserted Bill Clinton into the movie, and they took some of his speeches out of context and made it look like he was talking about an alien contact. I heard he was pretty mad when they did that. Because I don't think he gave his permission. 
Predator Bad Blood. The Shadow. Free full color color poster in every issue. The battle survived just got ugly. Predator. And Sin City before the movie came out. Okay, so that was Out of the Vortex. And here's the last comic. It is The Max by Image. And this is from 1993. So, I'm so it looks like these comics are generally older ones, which is kind of cool. Compared to the ones I usually get that are full of these like newer indie comics. Interesting artwork. It almost looks like Ren and Stimpy or something. Not, it's the artwork started out kind of good, but it's gotten kind of bad. And it's changed again. Hmm, this is interesting. It's gotten and it's gotten good again. Interesting. So that's the max. And we had also looked at Out of the Vortex, Justice League, Stormwatch, The Craptacular B Sides, Zero Hour Warrior, Ultimate X Men, Spider Girl. Hardcore and Terminator. So that is going to wrap up this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. As always, uh, if you like my channel, uh, click the bell icon and subscribe. And, uh, or subscribe and click the bell icon. Leave a comment, give me a thumbs up. And, um, and until next time. Have a good day. Bye.